Hey everyone! Welcome to a new video. Today, I'm going to show you an amazing AI tool called Combi. It can turn your Figma design into real front-end code, instantly. Combi works like your own AI front-end developer. You upload your design, and it instantly creates clean code that matches your project setup. For example, if you are using React with TypeScript and Material UI, Combi generates code that fits right into that framework. No more spending hours writing repetitive components or adjusting layouts. Combi understands your design and converts it into proper, developer-friendly code. Let's get started the video. This is the Figma design that we're going to convert into code. It's a simple landing page for a gym fitness website. We have a hero section, a navigation bar with a join now button, a trainer section, a why choose us section, and a simple footer. All right, let's see how Combi handles this design. We'll check how it converts our Figma layout into actual front-end code. Let's see what kind of output we get. This Figma design was actually created using another AI tool called Google Stitch. If you'd like to know more about it, I've already made a separate video on my channel. You can check that out after this one. Now I've already set up the Next.js app. I'm using the app router with TypeScript and Tailwind CSS. So this is my tech stack. Let's see how Combi understands this setup and how it generates the code for our framework. This is the official website for Combi AI. Here, it's mentioned as the AI agent built for front-end development. That means Combi isn't just a code generator. It's an AI that truly understands front-end development. If you scroll down, you can see the installation methods. Combi is available as an extension and you can use it in editors like VS Code, Cursor, Windsurf, and Tray AI. For this video, I'll be using VS Code. This is the extension for Combi. Just click on the Install button to add it. Once it's installed, you'll need to create an account. Combi gives you 300 free credits every month, which is great for testing and small projects. To sign up, click on the Sign Up link. Copy the URL and open it in your browser. I'm going to continue with the Google option to create my account. Combi has logged in successfully. Now let's open Visual Studio Code and start using the extension. Here you can see Combi is using React 19 with TypeScript and ShadCN UI by default. We can change these settings based on our project. I'll show you how to do that. Click the Figma icon, and here we need to connect our Figma account to Combi. Just click the Connect button to link your account. Now, give access permission to allow Combi to connect with Figma. One important thing, make sure you're logged into both Combi and Figma using the same email account. Now, we need to enter the Figma file URL. Click on the design in Figma then copy the design link. After that, paste the link here in Combi. Click the Confirm button. Now you can see Combi has fetched the Figma UI correctly. Awesome! Now Combi provides a default framework configuration, but we need to edit it. There are two options available, Manual and Auto Scan. First, I'll show the Manual option. Click the Configure Stack button and you can manually select your framework details. For example, you can choose React 18, React 19, or even Next.js based on your project setup. You can see the UI components library section. It includes many options like MUI, Ant Design, Chakra UI, ShadCN, and more. That's really nice. This is one way to configure it manually. Now I'll show you the second method a feature called Auto Scanning. If you click the Scan Workspace button, it automatically reads your project and identifies the framework you're using. So, you don't need to manually enter any framework details. That's awesome, right? I'll choose the Scan option. We need to wait for a few seconds. Combi will read our project and automatically fetch the frameworks we are using. It's now reading the package.json file, the next.config file, the CSS file, the tsconfig file, and the post-css file. So based on this files it will identify. Boom! 
You can see Combay has fetched our framework details correctly. We are using Next.js 15, TypeScript, and Tailwind CSS version 4. Nice. Everything is correct. You can see we are using the app router, and Combay has automatically identified that as well. We are not using any component library like Shad CNUI. That's why it's showing no component library in the configuration. Click the Save button. Now we've set up the framework details. If there's any mismatch in the framework details, you can switch to the manual method and correct it. For me, everything looks fine, so I'll click the Proceed button to continue. Now, Combay is going to fetch some details from our Figma design. See Combay has created the planning phase based on our Figma design. See the Combay magic. It's fetching all our section details, like the hero section, navigation section, trainer section, and more, directly from the Figma design. That's awesome. Now it's getting really interesting. And it has created some features like a sticky navigation bar for the header. It's also adding a background image for the hero section, a grid layout for the trainer section, and several other elements automatically. See, now we have the style guide summary. Combay created a style guide summary and pulled colors and fonts from the Figma file. However, it's not always 100% accurate. For example, the yellow color code here is slightly mismatched compared to the Figma design. For that, we can use the edit option to make changes. But for now, I'll go with this color. For typography, it's correct. Combay has taken the font properly. We're using Space Grotsk font. Now I going approve plan. So Combay based on the plan going create Next.js code. See, Combay is now fetching all the images from the Figma design and adding them to our project automatically. See, Combay has already started creating the files. It's creating some component files and asset files. These are all the images that we used in the Figma design. Combay is doing a really nice job. It's handling everything smoothly. Now, it has started creating the CSS files and layout files for our project. See, Combay is still working on creating the files. The best part is that it's generating proper next.js code that follows the correct structure and standards. Combay has finished the job and now it's asking to run the server. Click the Run button to start the development server and see the output. Now see, Combay has done its best. It successfully converted our Figma design into clean, working Next.js code. Combay has created the layout almost exactly like our design. I know it's not 100% match. We just need to make a few small changes to match it perfectly. I'm going to make three small changes to make the design look more perfect. The first change is, I noticed that the container size is too small. We need to increase like same our Figma design. It's a small task. We'll open the main page file, and here we need to change the max width value to adjust the layout. Oh, my bad. I added the class to the wrong tag. Let's fix that. In the main tag, we need to add the class max width 6xl and margin auto so it will move to center this container. See now it's better correct. Next, we need to align all the text to the center in the footer. If you want, you can do vibe code using Copilot or Cursor. I'll open the footer component, and here we'll add the text center class. Now the copyright text is aligned to the center. Next, we need to adjust the menu alignment. Let's add the justify center class first to align the menus. Hmm, maybe we can try justify around. That might give a better balanced look. Now let's reduce the width a bit. See, that looks much better now. Now, for the final change, we need to adjust the trainer cards. The fourth card's width is smaller, so we'll make it the same as the others. 
I'll use some vibe code for this. I'll ask Copilot to fix it. After a few seconds, it's done. It automatically increased the number and fixed the layout perfectly. So finally, our UI looks much better now. Comba AI did a great job converting our Figma design into real Next.js code. With just a few small tweaks, we got a perfect, production-ready UI. It easily saved around 70 to 80% of our work. Try it out yourself using the free credits first. If it suits your workflow and project needs, you can then move to the paid plans. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.